We're back on the Pancake Pod, and oh, that's what it's okay. we have a new guest, Eli Ellis. Hey, guys. How are you feeling, Eli? Can I rate the pancakes? Yeah, rate the like pancakes out of 10. Why would you eat it like that? That's a, no, no, that's a good pancake, I won't lie. Yeah, the mid, little ones are good. They're soft. It's not only just a regular. They don't like, you know, like the ones like, okay. you, when you go like this, they break in half. Yeah. It's still like I spent flimsy. I money on those today. These are great pancakes, Tom. Where'd you get these? Uh, we don't do free ads. Yeah, f- those pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very aggressive podcast. <laughs> would, okay. Would so, Miss Newman like that kind so, of language? Yep. Yeah. Why are you talking about his mom? Yeah, why are you talking about my mom? Because she's an amazing lady. Your parents ate dinner with my parents last night, just so you know. It, yeah. <laughs> this is getting weird. <laughs> You're going to good. So I got I got some questions for you, Eli. Yeah, what's the question? Uh, how do we get you on Rod Wave Elite? I mean, R to B. How do we get you on R to B? Um, got an idea for you. Say, why aren't you juniors players? Move them all to RWB. Now mm-hmm. we're called RWB. Yeah. We're all RWB players except for Daquan and Carter Knox. Move them to Dreamers. They can just be the Dreamers now. That's a big trade. And you keep Daquan and Carter Knox yeah. RWB. Yeah. And Sopta. So you're saying you don't like Darion? Darion's my guy. But we got Afra Abu Yarma. Oh, speaking of Abu, how do you feel about that game winner last night? That was actually walk crazy. me Walk me through the play. Okay. The play was... I threw it to the top to Don. Don's throwing it back. They throwing gave it me back. It. Okay, keep going. They <laughs> gave me the whole left side of the court to go work, right? So we're down two. I was like, okay, I don't have a three. I'm driving. Don't have a three. I got to step back. Step back. He hits me on balance. I'm off balance. John Ball steps up. I'm like, oh, shoot. I look to my right. Me and Boo make direct eye contact. He said a fra. I said a fra. I threw it. Wait, what did he say? He said a fra. What's that? If you know, you know. Next question. Next next question. Uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad would I beat you? Zero. You said 10? You remember what awesome. happened great. last time you okay, tried to fight okay, me? Okay, that's great. Uh, why is OTE so easy for you? Oh, that's actually... I don't understand, like, what's going on, but, like, defensively, like... Well, offensively for me, it's like really not easy, but it feels pretty easy. Like the shots are just going. So, like in. outside of OT, the defense is harder. Um, no, I wouldn't say that. There's better defenders here. I don't know. It's just different. You're just here. that guy, is what you're saying? Yeah, kind of. Hmm. Eli Ellis is that guy. Why are you glazing? That's one thing yeah, I yeah, hate. Like, That's one thing I hate nowadays on social media is the no, word glazing. The word glazing this pisses me off, bro, bro. You can't do anything right. Like a kid, a little kid, like eleven year old, be like, Eli, you're so tough. I'll look up to you. He'll get attacked in the comments. Yo, you you're, bro. you're glazing. You're glazing. You're. <laughs> I'm like, dog. Like, why can't we compliment people anymore? Facts. And then it makes the kid turn into turn, one of the glaze. Y- yeah. Say glazing. Yeah. And then the kid just doesn't want to say anything nice to me anymore. So now it's just, Eli, this doesn't pass. He little sucks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nelson wow. can't hoop. Nobody says Nelson that. Nelson can't dress. N- nobody ever says that. What is Nelson wearing? Why does Nelson get no girls? Why does Eli have a fat head? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Should I play for the Dreamers? Uh, if you want or to. Or R to B. Oh, Dreamers. Dreamers? Yeah, we have a lot more fun over here. Sorry, I was lagging. It's all good. Uh, so give me some reasons. <laughs> give me some reasons why I should play for the Dreamers. Reason why you should play for the Dreamers. Um, one, we shoot a lot of threes. Yeah. Two. It's my specialty. It's in my DNA. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Can I do? Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, so we shoot a lot of threes. We Funny thing is, I just gave you COVID. Yeah, I, I took the vaccine. <laughs> Anyways. Um, no, we shoot a lot of threes. We have a lot of fun. And, um... Oh, well, nah, he... Who? You. Suspect stuff. What are you so doing? Yeah, suspect stuff. You do a lot of suspect stuff. Yeah. This can be cut, so that's okay. Um, what's your favorite food? Favorite food? Um, now these pancakes. <laughs> Facts. There's nothing like the pancake pod. What, what other foods do you like? Uh, chicken alfredo. Chicken alfredo is my favorite food. Um, Dis- you disgust me. I like burgers. Big burger guy. Why do I disgust you? You disgust me. Let me think. Yeah. That online school ain't helping out that much. What's the place called? That school? Took, no, that you took me to in North Carolina. You said a dictionary? Derwinders or something? The, the yeah. burger place. When was the last time you did school? The Today. The burger place. Yeah. I didn't do it today. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Derwinders? Derwinders? What's the burger place you took me to in... North Carolina. Oh, Dario? Dario. Dario is fire. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. Dario is so fire. Dario yeah. is like, Dario is like Chick-fil-A quality. No, cookout food with Chick-fil-A quality. Cookout was Why? It's right. Cookout is... I love cookout. <laughs> yeah. It's very, like, cheap. But, like... Cookout made me want to throw Milkshakes... I was trying to be respectful because I was with y'all. I was like, oh, this shit bar. This shit was ass. Dario? Yeah. Dario was No, nice. Dario was gas. Yeah, I was about to say. The cookout was... When did we eat cookout? Pissed me off. Cookout just made me mad. I can't remember eating cookout. All right, let's stop talking about branding things. Yeah. Um, Talk about pancakes. Why am I so good at basketball? Who told you that? Uh, that's one of the questions on here. Right, Tom? I mean... Why oh, yeah. I, why am I so good at Yeah, basketball? why is Niles so good at basketball? Niles, no, 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 it was, Niles it was is just to, like, was, you know, was, Niles it, is just a different breed. It was breed. supposed to be Nelson. <laughs> hey, buddy, that's a typo. Niles is just a really good basketball player, you know. The way he shoots the ball and you know, the way he handles it, you know. Uh, does he average more on your team? Who averages more on your team right now? Niles. <laughs> that's my guy right there. Who averages more assists? He can come play for the Dreamers now. <laughs> Keep eating those pancakes. I will. Fat ass. Okay. Go <laughs> ass up. Now it's better. Who wins in the way you said that? Alright. Next question. Who wins in a 1v1, me or Romello? Damn, it's hot in here. Ooh. Uh huh. I heard. I heard through the grapevine that, uh, Romello's not that good at ones. Who said that? Dre. So who's Dre? Blue Checks player. He beat Romello in one on one. By a lot. And Niles beat him five out. So if Niles beat him five out, that means you could like you could actually compete with him a little bit, Romello. <laughs> So, like, you could go, like, 5-4, I feel like. Who's the girl that came to your commitment? Oh, oh, oh. What are you talking about? When you committed at... I'm on your side, Niles. God. <laughs> <laughs> Who was it? Put um, this in there, y'all. It was my cousin. That's not what Isaac told me. <laughs> Why would Isaac say something about our cousin coming to my commitment video? Who is she to you? My cousin. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. Next topic, please. <laughs> Who's the best player in OTE? Best player in OTE? Um, Niles. No, nah, me. Definitely. You? Honestly, I didn't really know at the beginning, but now I feel like it's me. So you're better than Tom, though? Yeah. 
I'm better at different things than Tom Tom. I mean, I can't go and put my elbow in the rim, but I yeah. can shoot a shot from half court and make it. So why are you so non-bouncy? Um, I don't work on my bounce. But I can dunk. If I worked on dunking for no, you two, can't. if I worked on my dunking, you like can't trying dunk. to really dunk for two weeks, I can dunk with two hands. I you can can't do all dunk. types of stuff. But I just you don't can't. try. You can't. I haven't tried to dunk in like dunk. three weeks because there's no point. What am I going to do it in game? So why can't you dunk? Because I don't work on it. I just answer that. But like you literally can't dunk. I just dunked last. And you're you're six. You're six one. I'm six one and can dunk. You can't dunk. And I also have. And I also don't like to dunk now because my finger. When I hit the rim, it hurts. I think that's the excuse. Why can't you dunk? Because I'm since you're so much taller than everybody now. How do you feel that I'm taller than you now? And you still can't dunk? I feel pretty. I feel bad for you. That's sad. Even Niles can touch net. I can touch net. Um, if Anyways. I was an OT, how much would I be averaging? Like minutes, or like we talking like claps, um, water handouts, towel Yo, passes. Yeah, let's wrap this up. <laughs> um, no, honestly, I feel like if you played, if I played like full full minutes with a with Seriously. like twenty four minutes, ultimate green light. Ultimate green light, 24 minutes. Uh, you could average eight. If you had the ultimate green light, you would probably shoot like 30%, like 20% from three, though. This, this is not easy. I'm not going to lie. This dude does not like me, bro. No, I love Nelson. It's just, it's different over here. Hold on. Somebody's calling me. That's. Hello? Oh, uh, with with the Zaxby's? Yeah, with the Zaxby's, yeah. Are you by the OT arena? You can call me a fat. No, I'm by some houses. They have me by some houses. Where's my Zaxby's? <laughs> Where's my Zaxby's? Hold on one second. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> um, so, Quan, um... How's Romelo as a teammate? Oh, uh, Romelo's a great teammate. I feel like he pushes me all the time in practice. Yeah? Yeah, I feel like he just... Bro, Romelo's annoying in practice, bro. He just guards me. Like, he guards me like nobody else does in the league. That's kind of what J-Jack said. He's like a bug in the corner. You want to get the out. Yeah, literally. That's kind of what it is? Like, you just... Like, an annoying ass fly. He's just always around, bro. It's and you want to, like, kill him? Yes. I don't know. I don't really like... <laughs> And like Romelo, like all these people say, Romelo's bouncy. Like he's whoop de woo. His laugh is bouncy. His smile is bouncy. His hair is bouncy. Like get off his. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I, I just don't like him. You know. <laughs> <laughs> now Romelo's a great kid. He's great. He, he's a good guy. That's um, I, I want to hear your your top five OTE player list. Top five OTE player list. Top five. Me, of course. Carter. Yeah, five, five to one. It does it? Is it? Does it matter? Yeah. Mm hmm. It matters. One hundred percent. Me first. Uh. I don't know. Carter. Uh. Eli. Ian. I don't know. Uh, who's the top five for MVP? First off, we're not going off top five MVP. We're going off of who is Quan's <laughs> top five players at OTE. We're missing one here. Romelo. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a nice little top five. I think I'd replace Romelo with, like, either Cannon or Mikel Brown Jr. But, um, you know, I think that was a decent top five. I think Romelo's a, a, a great player. I yeah, guess he, he got in yesterday and got a bucket right away. Yeah, so let's give him some more PT. Man, talk about it. <sighs> All right, on to the next question. Um, what would be our record if I was coach and Frazier was assistant coach? Would it be like four and four six? Four and six, yeah. Ten and oh? 
Yeah, your buddy Jay Jack said the same shit. Didn't know. Yeah. It's pretty accurate. I mean, you didn't play for me this summer. Yeah, I didn't get to. But you'll that. see this summer. For sure. It's a different energy over here. All right. Ten and out. Ten and out. Cam X Frage, best coach duo in the nation. That'd be. A, I thought that was going to happen, and then Cam just decided to not come to none of the games. So I was like, what? I just didn't like you guys, honestly. <laughs> I heard Quan was on the team. I just was like, yeah, I'll just <laughs> sit back and watch him fucking coach. But then now, I, now I, I, I kind of like you, so you'll have an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, let's just talk about RWE real quick. Um, so I'm kind of like a perfectionist here. Um, you know, I've no, I've just, we've just won so many championships this past summer that I just don't know what the fuck losing is. And then when I, we come to this environment and y'all can't win a game, you can't win. <laughs> What's going on? Um, I'm related back to coaching. Okay. We don't have the same coach as, as over the summer. I get it. I truly get it. But what the f- uh, You nah. can't win five games. <laughs> I feel like we're going to turn around. I would Start. hope so. I mean, maybe maybe you get a couple a couple players back. Starting with the blue, yeah. Hopefully we get a full team. Yeah. Potentially. That'd be great. That'll be, I don't think we can have one game with a full team yet. But, you know, I guess. Yeah, man. Yeah, just, yeah, guys. So I was telling Jay Jack, maybe, maybe we need to take you. Take I need to take you on like a team retreat or something. Go get some team bonding. bonding. Yeah, we don't bond really well. See, like what? <laughs> y'all expect to win games and y'all barely even know your mama's names. See my, each other's mom's names. Like what's up? You're supposed to know everybody. Like you're supposed to be like these. That's how you win I games. I actually don't know none of my teammates' moms' names. See, so now I gotta take you guys to Disney <laughs> World. <laughs> now I gotta take you guys to Disney World. Disney World. And we'll go on roller coasters and have fun, smile, and maybe y'all will. F- Win a game or something. <laughs> Let's do it. Maybe. Or maybe I just go to France. Take out of France. France is insane. In fact, like if we go to France, we can't lose any more games. Yeah. <laughs> you better not. <laughs> go to the Eiffel Tower and then come back and lose to Diamond Doves. Like, what? Y'all, I dead ass pulled up to Arizona and you y'all almost lost to the Diamond Doves. Diamond Doves. You sh me? I don't think the 3 2 that they run should be allowed, though. That's kind of weird as hell. 3 2? They ran a 3-2 all game. I mean, it's really not that hard to beat a 3-2. No, Dario went middle, but, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Stupid. Um, How can me, as a GM slash owner, help the team? What can I do more to help the team? What should I do, like? Am I sitting there being a weirdo? Am I just broadcasting this shit, being a cornball? Like, what is it that I need to do? I feel like you need to um, just come and uh, when we're not doing too well, have a conversation, nice, uh, nice conversation. Mm-hmm. Make us come out and potentially go up twenty. Yeah, I usually have impactful speeches. They used to call me Captain America <laughs> because of how good my speeches are. It's partly why I won six championships this past summer because my speeches were so great. You know. Keep it going this summer too. Yeah, man, I I do I do some good, you know, behind the scenes, man. I really talk my team up. Really got to do it this year because we're gonna have a bunch of no name kids who have never played in front of a crowd before. So, yeah, I'm really good. I they call me Captain America with speeches, like just just yeah. This is the fight of our lives. Like like yeah. My GM to do is come have a conversation. Oh yeah, man. Zoom call or something. No, if you guys ever need speeches, holla at me. I'm Captain America in real life. Um, now, besides, you know, the fact that you guys are four and six is atrocious, but who do you think has been playing well throughout this year, at least? On the team? Yeah. Um, I feel like Darion is consistent. Uh, Carter's pretty consistent for the most part. Um, I feel like myself, I'm pretty consistent. I agree. Uh, yeah. Jay Jack's pretty consistent for the most part, too. When he shoots the ball, it's not back like a weirdo. But, yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of agree. I think Carter could do a little bit more. 
Um, you know, he's quote unquote top five for a reason, right? Yeah. I need to see it. I need I need that. I need I need yeah. the top five Carter. Hey Carter, you look like you're top fifteen. Yeah, I, I it's a, he, it might be top twenty. Top twenty. Might be top twenty. Uh, it's just not top five. We right need to now. see top five Carter Knox. I don't know what he needs to do. If he needs to unlock some shit, I need to see it. You know what he hasn't been doing? He hasn't been eating McChickens before the game. And that's what he used to do, huh? That's what he used to do. In preseason games, he was going for 30 in preseason. There it is. He needs some more McChickens. He stopped eating his McChickens. So we need to get him some McChickens. I will give him a year's (laughs) supply of McChickens if that means we win a championship. Yeah, I think we should talk to Carter. We'll have a conversation. Give him some McChickens or some shit. Because right now, what is he eating? Wendy's? It's not working. <laughs> it's not working. He actually just had Wendy's the other day, too. Yeah, and that's why we lost. So, we need to get him some McChickens. Um, <sighs> which OTE player would you say is the biggest lock to go to the NBA? They're going to the league for sure. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You know he's going league. Um... Guaranteed going to the league. One, just one player? One or two. I would probably say Ian and Carter. I agree. I think those are two locks for sure. I was just going to say that. Yeah, guaranteed for sure. All right, last question. Who's the most underrated player in all of OT? Romelo. Yeah, can we can we can we get a little bit more? Can we can I get a why? Like, why is he underrated? Romelo's underrated because it's like he does stuff in practice that doesn't go noticed because he doesn't get a chance to showcase it in the game. But like in practice, he's like always guarding me. He's making the right plays on the offense. He's hitting the open shot. He looks like like a like a true point guard in practice, but he doesn't ever get to showcase it. So I would say Romelo is like one of the most underrated. I like that. That's a W teammate right here, man. He's going to bat for his guy who doesn't get any PT. Anyway, y'all, that's Daquan Davis.